Hello lovely friends and knitters! Today we are not going to talk about my knitting. Today we are going to talk about Ukrainian knitters. First of all, I want to thank everyone who left a comment suggesting me this or that designer. It was very, very useful. Thanks a lot. One of you suggested Finnish Knitting Stories, a YouTube channel. And she also made a video about Ukrainian knitting designers. I took her video as the base for my video, like the spine, and added other designers that I knew and other knitting YouTubers that I, that I know. So I divided this little video into three parts. The first is about designers who make patterns. The second part is about Ukrainian knitting YouTubers. And the third one is about designers, knitters who knit and sell their garments. So let's start with the first part. People, knitters who make patterns. The first designer I'm going to show you is Tanya Mulokas, known as Nitera in the knitting world. She's from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. And here I put some photos of her works. Her works are very minimalistic, very modern, and she pays lots of attention to the details. I really like those mittens. They are amazing and I would like to buy this pattern. This white top is called sex flow top and I have this pattern. I started knitting but put it aside. But I will definitely do that. Another designer from Kyiv is Natalie Perlik, known as Knit for Sweet. She has her Ravelry account. So you can buy her patterns there. She's the queen of cables and intricate lace designs. I really like this yoke pattern. This is a new designer for me, Svetlana Volkova, known as Tweedy Sheep, and you can find her patterns on Ravelry. Here I put some photos so you could look at some of her works. This looks very feminine. I knitted that type of sweater for my daughter when she was little. Galina Simchuk, known as Legenda Sons or Legenda Sons, is also a designer. She hasn't got a Ravelry store, I guess. Her works are so accurate and neat, and you can see how much effort is put into knitting them. The color work is so tiny, and the cables are so small. Very, very detailed work. She's new to me and I love, I love this slipover or blouse, wonderful. Ludmilla Babenseller sells her patterns on her website. And as you can see from the photos, she pays a lot of attention to details. Though her works are minimalistic, they have very nice touches to it. I would like to buy this pattern just for the color. It's amazing.
Irina Dmitrieva. You can knit her on Ravelry as my knit land. And she is a very versatile designer because she knits socks and gloves and hats and sweaters. And there's always a bit of or a lot of cabling. At the moment it's getting very very popular. So I think she's a very good designer for that purpose. I like the yoke here. Another designer is Anna Radayeva and she has a Etsy shop. She is knitting and crocheting. That's a completely different style from the previous designer. You can see how detailed, in a different way, detailed her works are. Really beautiful works. Teti Lutzak or Teti's Knit Garden is a designer who lives in the Netherlands and I know that some of you tested this particular sweater. I haven't met this designer before so she's new to me. As I can see Olga Putano is a Ukrainian who lives in the USA and her works are also very different from the rest. I would say this color work, her color work is very modern and very stylish. Natalia Aksonova Knit is the name of Natalia Aksonova and she writes patterns and you can see some of them in the safe stories on Instagram. And I guess some of them you can find on Ravelry. Olena Rabkun is a designer I recently bought a sweater pattern from. She is known as In Love With Knit. She also knits sweaters and sells them. And she writes patterns. Rina Monasteriano is from Odessa. You can find her on Ravelry. And I know her mostly because of her wonderful socks. Alisa Verbitskaya, known as Alisa Sonia 88, has also a shop and you can buy her items. It's all crocheted at its new level of accuracy and hard work. It's Irish lace and I also love doing Irish lace crocheting and I met her works many years ago already and they inspired me. Maybe one day I'll show my work, but it's not that high level. She is amazing. Lena Fedotova is a crochet designer known as Ravliki. She is new to me and I love the way she crochets. Look at this brownie sweater, it's amazing. It's so modern and I love this blue one as well and I'm buying, planning to buy some of her patterns. Greta Majewska is my love. She's from Ukraine and lives in Finland. 
This is the sweater that was in Novita's magazine. She designed it and won the first or second prize, I guess. She also had her own YouTube channel in Russian, but when the war started, she stopped filming. And I'm very sorry about that. The second part of the video I enjoy so much because I watched those YouTubers. Before the war, they all spoke uh, Russian and now they started speaking Ukrainian. All of these knitting designers, YouTubers, have many, many master classes, tutorials, patterns on how to knit different garments from gloves, hats, scarves to cardigans and sweaters and dresses. And I love those videos because they don't give the number of stitches you have to cast on, like in the patterns you buy. You get the explanation why you do this or that and what happens if you do it different way. So I think that gives you freedom in knitting and then you can design your own or if you see something is wrong, you can easily fix it. So let's go and watch them. This is the designer Dasha Nakrasova and she lives in Norway, right in the north of Norway. And she has her own YouTube channel, it's in Russian. She gives lots of tutorials how to knit different things, hats and mittens and sweaters. It's worth visiting and have a look at her. Xenia has a YouTube channel Dvama Tochki and this is a new channel. I don't know anything about it, so I will go and look it up. Nada is an artist known as Lolina Deco Elements on Instagram and on YouTube. She has her channel in Ukrainian, but now she started having episodes in English as well. She's a test knitter and she started writing patterns as well and she's looking for testers so maybe you will be interested in that and she's a wonderful soul and we have chats from time to time Dasha Mosyenko has a YouTube channel and she's a wonderful person I've been watching her for many years she's from Nikolaev and then she had to flee to Odessa to Kiev. I don't remember exactly, I think to Odessa. And she has designed all these beautiful hats. It's double-sided color work hats. And she has designed this cardigan as well. I really like her style and her sense of humor. Wonderful. Alexandra Shchukina, known as Sandra Pike, has a YouTube channel and I've been watching her for many years and especially now, during the wartime, her positivity and good mood and stamina is an example to me. And she's a wonderful designer and she's, she knows how to explain things she is a pro in knitting. Svetlana Zaitz also has a YouTube channel. And though her works are not absolutely my style, they have too many details, I like to watch her channel because I learn a lot about construction of this garment. I think she could teach a horse to knit. Her explanations are so good so clear and you know why you are increasing or decreasing at a certain point i love her for that she has like this natural teaching skill katia yudina is a wonderful girl who has her own youtube channel and she sells those bubble cardigans on etsy I love her taste, I love her calmness. She's the complete opposite of me, but maybe that's why I like her. She 
she's so gentle and subtle. I like everything about her. The third part of my video is dedicated to designers, to knitters who knit and sell their finished garments. I di didn't know any of them before making the video, but I came across and I was very happy to see how nice and high quality their works are. And especially if you cannot knit or you don't like knitting particular type of garments, like I don't like knitting gloves. So there's a good opportunity to support Ukrainian knitters and get the garment that you want. Let's have a look. Wool Tails is a brand that knits and sells finished garments. I wanted to include it because I think the garments, the sweaters and hats are really nicely knitted, very tiny cables and lots of work and I think it's worth mentioning it. This is also a new online shop for me called Caprizulka and the lady is knitting for kids and adults. I also find her garments very nice and it's also a good way to support a knitter if you don't have enough time to knit yourself and you like that particular style. I hope that you found this video interesting. If some of the designers intrigued you, please go to Instagram, find the name, look at the works and buy a pattern. I think even if it's in Ukrainian or Russian, it's fine. What you need are mainly the numbers. Or even if you don't understand, just giving that kind of support, it's really not big money. I think it's a nice gesture. And if you want to see some of the works, go to YouTube. Sometimes I watch Spanish YouTubers speaking in Spanish, though I don't speak Spanish. Sometimes I enjoy the voice or the comments they are showing. And still you learn something by just watching it, how the garment is being made. And you can understand what's happening in her knitting world, in her knitting journey. Please let me know if you enjoyed the video in the comments. And I'm very happy if you can support them or just give, leave a nice comment under the videos on the Instagram. And, and in this way, we send them a message, they are not alone, we are supporting them in many different ways. And I believe that each little action that we take, the little support that we can provide, kind words, they all make the difference. Let's do that.